right, let's see. Quick recap. That's dark out, sitting in my 2013 Ford Focus. Uh, I just got, let's, <clears throat> anyways, uh, let's see, TCM, let's see, I've got TCM problems with it. I tried having, putting in a, the Amazon one uh, at the dealership. Anyways, that didn't work. So I put my old one back in and then I noticed I needed a bunch of retraining. So anyways, I've got the, you can see here, I've got the four scan uh, software for it. Plus I also got the the additional key to uh, for the training. So I'm gonna give it a, anything now, nothing. Okay, anyways, I'm not sure what it's doing, but maybe I'll do some messing around, try to get this thing to start. All right, let's give this another try. Okay, got my four-scan software. I've got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got the little reader. It says it's got a yellow light, which indicates that it's, uh, it's connected and that the installers are automatic. So now I guess the next thing is, is to connect it to my, my port and then start the car and then it should read. That doesn't seem the same as my other one because the other one I think had, uh, you just plugged it in and then, uh, I have to set this down. But I think the other one you just plugged it in and uh, turned the key to on, but it says on this one you need to start it. So anyways, let's see. What, oh, we got a green light. It should say connected. But is it connected? I don't think it is. Ugh. Why isn't it connected? It's got the green light, but not connected here. Okay. Can you read that? Probably not. Unable to connect the vehicle. Key is on. Okay, we'll just turn the key on. And then, key is on. Let's see, the paper says start, make sure your engine goes purr. Okay, I need to start the car. Let's just do that and then we'll see what happens. Let's set my phone down again. All right. All right, I think it's doing something. I've got... Please select the specification for this vehicle. Okay. Maybe this will work. Ah, there we go. It's doing stuff. Reading vehicle information. Ah. Okay. M. Code, code, code. Oops, would you like to save? Yes, save it. It'll be to you, okay. There we go, previous set DTC, clutch possession sensor. Oh, that's, last one was A. Now I got B on this one. Malfunction. Okay. That's 805. Let's see. I think these are all the ones for learning the positions. Don't know if I need that. Vehicle tests. Service functions. Let's click that. Okay, module reset. Ooh, let's go TCM adaptive learning. Okay, let's just, let's go back up here. So, oh, maybe I do this. Oh, hang on, you know what I need to do? I need to go like this. Adaptive learning. Let's see what this one does. Okay. Make sure the vehicle's not moving. Okay. 
not moving. Be in the on position. Okay, that's on. Let's see. Okay. It started. Please turn the ignition. Okay, yeah. We did that. Yes, I did that. Oh, I didn't do that. There we go. Now it's on. Okay, let's see. Perform transmission sensor. Okay, let's do this stuff. Gear in park. It's in park. Let's pull the emergency brake. There we go. I think I'll... There we go. Good thing. Oops. Are we moving? Good. We're not moving. All right. We're in reverse. And neutral. And neutral. We're in neutral. It looks like neutral. And drive. Drive. We can go drive. And low sport. Okay, there we go. Learn, no errors detected. Okay. Park. Okay, it is off. Wait 45 seconds. Okay, now turn ignition on, but don't start engine. Okay. Verify. Okay, we did that. Range sensor. Verify range sensor adaptive learning. Okay, I think we need to do this next one now. Park. Okay, we are in park. Okay, let's see. So we did verify range sensor clutch adaptive learning. We need to do that. Drum shift, okay. Let's do the drum shift. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. This is transmission is in park. Okay, let's see. Depress brake and hold. Okay, transmission's in park. Okay, we did the shift drum adaptive learning. Now let's do clutch adaptive learning. Make sure the transmission is in park. Be press and hold pedal. Okay, pedal's held. Let's do this. I don't hear any noises. Oh, here's something happening. Sounds like mice in there. It's doing something. Please run the engine and keep that idle. All right, let's see. Adaptive learning. Press the brake and hold. What? Oh my god. 
So I hold the brake for the gas. So do I, let's see here. Okay, brake. This function will attempt to learn both clutches by engaging what? Okay. Release the brake pedal. We're bearing engine load. What? Oh shit. Return to idle. Let's hold the brake. Okay, let's see. Held constantly. Okay, let's see. Engine must be in park. It's in, okay, engine's at temperature. Not active. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Depress the brake. Okay, I'm holding the brake. This is weird. Okay. All right, let's see. Routine. Oh, here we go. It gives me my clutch wear. I've got 11 point, yeah, 11 millimeters on A and 12 millimeters or 13 millimeters on B. So that's above the six. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've got lots of clutch left. Sweet. Okay, wait till it returns to normal and shut. Ta-da, it's daylight. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess my phone died out uh, as I was doing the uh, the TCM relearning. Anyways, I finished the relearning thing and uh, reset the codes. So now I'm going to see if it starts and do a test drive. Uh, let's see, it should start. There we go. Yeah, I had to disconnect my battery because uh, after doing the work on it, uh, my lights were on and it came outside and the car was running for some reason. So let's see how this works. I haven't dealt with this in a while. So odometer, anyways, I'll do that later. Got my seatbelt on. Oh, I got check engine light already. I don't know what the hell that is, but we'll find out. Let's see if we got reverse. Come on. Reverse. Do we have drive? No drive, no reverse. Ah, oh, God damn it! That sucks. All right, I guess I'm back to square one. Let's get my computer out and figure out what is wrong with this piece of shit. All right, I'm gonna just use my other code reader to just see what the hell's going on here. Um, let's see, I've got a PO5. How do I do this? Read, yes, read. Okay, PO5. O7A. Two eight three one three six eight oh five eight seven A two eight three one three six 
seven six seven five eight seven a three one and a thirteen or three six. Uh, those look like all the same things for the clutch learnings or the transmission learning. So I'm thinking disconnecting the battery probably. Huh, wonder if we could have made it forget everything. Anyways, let's see how many of these I can erase. Sure. Yes. Oh, wait. Sure. Let's see, that doesn't erase. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to see if this works and see if I can drive it. If not, I'll have to get, see if I can relearn the damn thing again. But before I do that, I think I'm going to, uh, I don't know what that is, P085, 87A, 5, probably all the same crap. Anyways, let's see if it runs. I'll just unplug this damn thing. Start it up again. Oh, sorry, if you're trying to watch the video. Okay, let's see if I've got reverse this time. Hey, got reverse. That's good. Okay. And let's turn on some climate control. I need that. Okay, we're driving. Not a good idea to drive holding your cell phone. Yeah, it's kind of snowy out, isn't it? Second, it's a good sign. That's third. Let's see if we can get up to fourth. The car is kind of cold, so I'll probably go easy on it. I think we've got all our gears. Maybe I can drive this thing on Monday. 